welcome back to Australia's run for gold. And look at this, even Harry and good old Oliver Wood are here to watch the second game of Australia's trip to the championship as we're taking on England. And this is England's first match here in the tournament. Australia's second, of course. After one week of play, Australia, player one, us, the GameCube guys, have a total of 130 points, which is good enough for sixth out of nine in the tournament. Yeah, not the way we wanted to start off by not catching the snitch, but we definitely rebounded here in the second match, and we totally take advantage of this England team, which never got started. Uh, you can see here that the combo is a really good start for us, but we shoot it from too far away, and it's denied, and I think we get denied once more, and there we are. But we gained the dodge, which is lovely. And I get the quick steal, and I go for the quick shot. There it is. Yeah, this is definitely a better game for Australia. The stealing, the passing, the combinations, the scoring, we made this game a lot easier. It seemed like England just really couldn't get started. They didn't really complete a lot of passes, and honestly, they didn't make it past uh, the center line all that often. This is pretty much domination. That is, we're already up 30 nothing on that one. And is that a Shunga? I don't know. The Australia's starting lineup is Matt Achunga, Kenneth Hastings, as little, you know, announcer likes to call it, and then Maria Monteith. And I think all of them do a really great job of scoring. I really wish that this game really lacks it. After the game is over, there should really be like a stat sheet, and you could see how many scores each player had, you know, how many goals each one had, how many uh, like how many shots each player had. That would have been really cool, but not happens. And the beaters for Australia feature Kylie Meadows, who we never hear about, and then we never get to hear about this one because obviously you would notice if the announcer said Kelly Wakarangapuwaru Wakarangapuwaru yeah you can see it right there that's that's her name credit back to Harry Potter Wikia thanks a lot for that one so I really wish she was one of the chasers so the announcer could say her name but it never happens and the seeker slash captain is Lucy Karunda, though she her seeking abilities weren't that necessary in this one. And in this game, I really like the uh, the co-commentator. Her name is Jacqueline Lejeune. She she's pretty funny. She pretty much just yells the whole time. And I, I guess that's like a French name, Jacqueline Lejeune. But. It just seemed like every time I really paid attention to her talking, it seemed like she would want England to win. So maybe she's English? I don't, I don't know. The starting lineup for England consists of Edric Bosper, Avery Hawksworth, Keaton Flintney, and then we got the beaters in the defense. We have Dawn Whippy and Idria Chowdhury. And to continue the last names ending with Y, we got Denison Frisbee as the keeper. And the seeker is Dwight Parker. Um, England didn't do a great job playing in this game. As we take a look now. Hey look, they made it into my territory. But then I get the steal. And here they go for the bludger attack. And oh, they do actually get me. How about that? And so I respond to the bludger attack on my own. Do I get him? Yeah, I do. That's great. Unlike in the first match, I hardly even used the bludgers. In this one... I'm starting to get get a handle of it as I get the steal and do I go for the right one? I do. It seems like it's much more easier to go for one of the side hoops as I get the steal and of course I contradict myself when I go for the top one. But it just seems like the keeper is usually staying in the top hoop waiting for the other team to come and shoot so it's easier to shoot for the one on the left or the right. Because that was a really errant pass. So it's 110 to 0 
right now, and ooh, I am denied. But I luckily get the quick steal, and I get the quick shot off, and that's it. So now it's 120 to zero. And I got a dodge in my back pocket, and I guess I didn't really want to use it at this point on the line. With that, now it's 130 to zero. As you can see at the top of the super power bar, they're pretty pretty even at this point. I do have somewhat of a lead, but anyone is doing a pretty good job at this point. And from the learning in the last game, the secret power bar pretty much determines who wins the match. And I didn't want to, I was really scared. I didn't want to, you know, not get enough secret power bar. That's why I try to get as much combos as I can right here. I think I didn't need to make that pass, but I just thought it was necessary to get the points at the top rather than the points on the scoreboard. Now I got the trifecta right there. I got Dodge, Bludgeon's Team Special. Not Team Special, but Special Move, and I just use it there. So mark it up now 150 to 0, and I'm already outscored my last match. Match I lost 190 to 130. Yeah, the defense of England is not good. That was a horrible interpretation. But I think she's quite entertaining. Better than the last match and that lame old guy. At least I noticed this chick. So let's talk about England's pitch. And it's pretty ordinary. Uh, I like how if you go, you can actually see the sky. It's quite overcast, which is similar to England. I've been to England once before. And... The whole time I was there, it was dreary, it was raining, it reminded me of Seattle. And I believe it's supposed to be drizzling. I don't, I remember during the intro it was drizzling, but I don't think it is right now. I don't, I can't really tell. That was a cool little move. And I switched my combo for some reason. Oh, I am denied. I think they got a good amount of saves on me, actually, in this. I think it was just getting eager. Maria Monteith. In this game, I am still yet to achieve my team special because to fully get it, I need to get five bludger attacks in a game, and I've, I'm yet to do that. Seems like kind of a difficult thing too. I'm not really focused on the bludgering, but I guess I'm going to need to if I want to see my special cutscene. So I should really use the dodge, and I do. And I go for the stupid little pass, and it doesn't work out. But I get the quick steal, and I should shoot it. Oh, I am denied again. Wow, I do not remember getting denied so many times. As as you can see, England. I don't even think they got a shot off in this game. They really didn't have a chance. They never got into my zone. There's one. Bullseye. That makes it 180 to 0. England pretty much just shit the bed. They're fudging their huggies. They didn't expect my offense to be so good. And I'm getting really full of myself. And I'll probably lose the next match for saying these kind of things. Though I don't know who I even play in the next match. Ooh, they're getting beat, but I get the steal. I'm not using the Dodgers. I don't, I don't know why. They're pretty helpful. Maybe I should work on it. This is like kind of like my game film, you know? I have, I have to go over it, work my strategies out. And that was a nifty combo. So, the Golden Snitch is getting pretty close right now, and they sent off another Bludger attack, and I'm probably dead meat. Yep, I am. I don't have any defense for that. And they're going. Do I get the steal? Yes, I do. It's Hastings. And going back to why GameSpot gave us a 6.5, as you can see like on that previous possession, as you can see right now, I'm going pretty slow as we go into a cutscene and he's scoring on the uh, special move I earned. But you're going pretty slow. It's kind of lame. Once again, if there was a turbo button, this game would have been much cooler. 
But this is a very fun game, especially for any Harry Potter fan out there. I definitely recommend it. It's really cool. They should really make like a, a re like another version of this, you know, Harry, Harry Potter Quidditch Part 2 or something. Now the movie series is over, they have to continue making money somehow, and they can't make any more movie video games, so, you know, Quidditch seems like a never-dying sport. Even, like, you know, non-Division 1 schools have Quidditch, and if you never heard about it, colleges do play Quidditch. Obviously, there's no flying broomsticks and whatnot, but somebody dresses up as the snitch, and there's teams running around with broomsticks, and they try to catch him, and... It's very painful. I've seen it before. You should go look it up on YouTube. And now we're in the switch chase all of a sudden. And no matter what, I'm going to end up winning this match. Luckily, pretty much just that right now is just trying to preserve the shutout. This is my captain, the Seeker. And did that that looked like the snitch? Did it look just like Passalo? Definitely wasn't a bludger. And I catch it. And we did it, guys. Australia moving to 1-1 one one on the season and definitely moving up in the rankings and the points. Exactly. Like, what did Lejeune just say? I had no... only thing I heard was Australia today. So we win the match 390-0, to zero, totally shutting out England. We win the English Stadium, which is pretty sweet. We can play with that in exhibition. Six saves, they didn't have a single shot. We sliced and diced them. So, we take a look at the league standings, and just like that, we're on to second in the table, only behind US of A. A great job, and thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really cool. It's a really fun game, and I like doing these commentaries over these matches. So, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to click the like button. Hey, how about you subscribe, and you can check out the third match. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.